Once upon a time in ancient China, there lived three old monks. They never revealed their names to anyone, but in China, they were known as the three laughing monks. They always stayed together and did nothing but laugh. They traveled to every village and city spreading the joy of laughter. One day, the three monks visited a village and stood in the center of its main square and started laughing. Slowly, people noticed them and couldn't resist their temptation to laugh. The joy and laugh on the monk's face was so contagious that the whole village started laughing. At that very moment, they left the village and moved to the next village. Their laugh was their only prayer and their teachings. They were respected and loved by everyone. Their teachings were simple. They taught that life is just a great opportunity to laugh, as if they have discovered some kind of cosmic joke. Many years passed, and one fine day, one of the monk died. Everyone was shocked and sad. They came running to see the reaction of the other two monks. But for their surprise, the monks were not crying or mourning. Instead, they were laughing even harder. So one person from the crowd came forward and asked the monk why he wasn't crying at all for his deceased friend. And for only once, the monk responded and told, because yesterday, on our way to the village, he proposed a bet on who of us will beat the other two and die first. And now he won, the old rogue. He even had a testament prepared. According to the Chinese tradition, the dead body must be washed and dressed in clean clothes before putting it on the funeral pyre. But the old monks advised the people to leave the old clothes of him because the monk was never filthy. His testament stated, I never allowed the filth of the world to reach me through my laughter. Soon everything was arranged and the ritual started. The fire was covering up his clothes, but to everyone's astonishment, suddenly fireworks of hundred colors went exploding up and down in all the directions and the people who gathered there also joined the two wise monks and started laughing. In life, maybe the only reason that we are here on this earth is so we can laugh and laugh and never stop experiencing joy and laughter. We take life too seriously and run behind to buy the things we don't need with the money that we don't have to impress people that we don't like. We have to perceive life for what it is, not for how we want it to be. When we search for the meaning of it and find answers to the questions, we get lost and can never attain real laughter and happiness. Victor Hugo once said, Laughter is the sun that drives winter from the human face. In our childhood, we used to be scared a lot about how we may score in our exams. And at that time, it was our greatest fear and problem. But now, we laugh at ourselves, thinking how stupid we were at that time. Laugh at the problems in your life and see how small your problems look. Because except for man, no animal on this planet is capable of laughter. So next time you face a problem, look in the mirror and just laugh the problem away. This makes the problem look too small to worry about and gives a sense of lightness to you because your joy is what makes you alive.